Hey, it's Nathan with CrazyMarketing.com. In this video, we're gonna talk about Facebook or Meta's tailored campaigns. Now, you might also hear about these campaigns being called Advantage Plus campaigns. And what they're for is for small business owners that aren't looking to become professional Facebook or Meta advertisers. These types of campaigns are for people just trying to get something live and basically let Facebook's algorithm do all the heavy lifting for them. So this might be a great option for you if you're trying to get some ads running. And you don't wanna learn every single little detail that's available in Facebook ads. So I do recommend checking out this page link in the description down below because it does give you some good information but basically it lets you maximize performance with minimal effort so yeah if you don't want to learn every little detail for Facebook this may be a great option for your business so it has built-in performance drivers you set the objective and will preload your campaign with the right settings to help achieve your advertising goal and deliver better ad results Setup made simple, so skip the guesswork with our quick and easy campaign setup. Let us take care of your key ad settings so you can focus on coming up with creatives your customers will love. So basically it's trying to handle everything but the actual creation of the ads themselves. And then it'll also optimize automatically. So some pre-selected settings use our ad automation technology to help uncover opportunities to reach more customers you might have missed by setting up your campaign manually. And you can create your tailored campaign in Ads Manager. However, I do wanna point out this note down here at the bottom. So this setup feature is currently only offered to select ad accounts, but we're working to expand them in the future. So my particular account only has the sales objective option available, but maybe you'll have leads and engagements and traffic as well. But I'll show you how to tell which options you have available to you. Coming on down here, so negative 18% cost per result. So small businesses who use tailored lead campaigns on average decrease in cost per result compared to similar campaigns that use manual ads manager flow for lead objectives. And of course, this is kind of a random statistic, but you can see they did pull a lot of data in here. 19,242 advertisers across various regions and verticals from November 6, 2022 to January 31st, 2023. So they do have a lot of data here to support this claim. And hopefully you see great results as well. Now coming on down here so some frequently asked questions this is actually a pretty helpful section and i recommend coming here and checking these out and i want to show you a couple of these answers so what is the optimal way to set up my audience and so set your audience to reach 1 to 10 million people by doing so you're letting meta's ad delivery system find the best people to show your ad if you cannot target broadly due to geographic limitations we recommend only setting age and location targeting to take advantage of the broadest audience possible to yield lower cost per action. So that's good info to have just in general on how Facebook. Also, what are Meta's best practices for video and images in my ads? And so this is a lot of good information as well when it comes to creating your ads and what tends to work well. So again, link in the description down below to this page because if you're interested in tailored campaigns or Advantage Plus campaigns, then there's some good information on here. But I'm gonna go over to my ads manager now and we'll go ahead and set one of these up. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on create here. And then again, I only have access to the sales tailored campaign. So I'm gonna click here and then click continue. And you can see that I have the Advantage Plus shopping campaign right here. And I can also see up here that it says tailored. And it says create a campaign using a setup tailored to help businesses like yours create sales campaigns. And so I'll wanna go ahead and make sure that this option is selected in order to use the tailored campaign. Now, I'll come back here in just a second. Let's go back to another campaign objective. So let's go to traffic and continue. So right here, you can see that it doesn't say tailored at the top, but there is still an option that says recommended settings. And so this is kind of like halfway between a manual setup and a completely tailored setup like I have on the sales campaign. So this is somewhere in the middle where it sets some settings up for you, but you can also go ahead and make adjustments to them. So if you see recommended settings, then you'll know that you don't have the tailored campaign option available to you. And I'll go ahead and click on back here. So like engagement as well, if I click in here, I just have recommended settings. Same concept with leads here, recommended settings, and app, I actually do have the tailored campaign option because you see I have advantage plus campaign and it also shows a little tailored icon right here. So if I had an app that I was gonna be advertising, then I could use this tailored campaign setting if I wanted to. But I'm gonna go ahead and click on back and go with sales and continue and then click into the Advantage Plus shopping campaign and continue. And so here we go. You may notice right away that it only has two tiers over here. When you do it manually, you'll have a campaign, an ad set, and then you'll have ads. This is like the campaign and ad set settings right here, and then your ads right here. So it's trying to like simplify things for you. Now coming over here, we have different fields we can go ahead and fill out. So we have the name fields. And of course, name it something that you can keep track of. We have the special ad category. So if you have any of these particular categories that you're advertising to, make sure that you select them. Or you could get in trouble with Facebook and Meta and they could block your account. 
You have the ad set name right here. So you wanna name this in a pattern that you can keep track of. And in my ad set video, I actually go over my naming conventions for ad set. So link in the description down below if you're interested in that. Coming on down here, we're gonna go ahead and select our conversion. So I'm gonna go ahead and select website here. And I wanna maximize the number of conversions, right? Because I'm doing a sales campaign. And so it makes sense to maximize the number of conversions. And then I need to go ahead and select my pixel right here as well. And I'm getting a little air here because I haven't had any purchase conversions on this pixel in the last 14 days. And that's fine, I'm expecting that. However, if you were not expecting this error and you got this message, then you need to go troubleshoot your pixel to make sure that it is firing on your purchase events. So coming on down here, cost per result goal, I recommend leaving blank as I explained in my ad set video. Now moving on down here, we have show more options. So we have attribution settings and I recommend leaving it at the default settings as well as I explained in my ad set video. So moving on down here, we have the audience location. And if you hover over the location, you can click on edit here and you can go ahead and search for additional regions and countries that you wanna to advertise to. Excluded locations, so no location exclusions are set for this ad account. So this is actually set at the ad account level. So to get to it, let me open this tab here. So you'll be in your ads manager area and you can go to ad account settings right down here. And at the very top, you should see account controls. So here you could go ahead and set up your audience controls and also your placement controls. And here you could go ahead and limit the locations that your ads can show. But coming back over here, I'm not gonna have any exclusions. We have reporting settings. So this is automatically selected and configured for us and we don't have to do anything for it. And we can choose between daily budget and lifetime budget. And in my ad set video, I explain the differences and why I would choose what. So please check out that video if you haven't already. We also have budget scheduling, which I also cover in the ad set video. And I'm gonna leave it the default settings during this video. And then down here we have suggested ads. So if you already have ads running in your account and that are generating results, then Facebook will automatically pull them in here and recommend you use them because they're already set up and working and all that type of stuff, but I don't have any ads right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and create a new ad. So come over here and we get into the ad creation area. And I already have a video all about creating ads. So link in the description down below if you need help creating an ad. As this video is mainly about showing you about tailored campaigns or Advantage Plus campaigns and how they work and when you might wanna use them. And again, links in the description description down below of everything I talked about and hopefully you found this video helpful if you did I appreciate it. so much the likes comments subscribes and or check out crazyoutmarketing.com and I hope you have a great rest of the day